Welcome to our guide to create your very own herb garden. Whether you're an aspiring green thumb or a seasoned gardener, you can gain the skills you need to cultivate a thriving herb garden right in your backyard. Step one, planning and preparation. Before you get your hands dirty, it's essential to plan your herb garden. Consider the available space, sunlight exposure, and the types of herbs you'd like to grow, as well as what plants are available. If you like, you can sketch out a layout for your plants, or you can place the plants in their containers on the ground, moving them around until you have the desired layout. Either works depending on your personality. Then gather any necessary gardening tools, such as a hose or a watering can, and a hand shovel. Step 2. Preparing the soil. A healthy herb garden starts with nutrient-rich soil. Nutrient-rich soils are created when there is a healthy soil food web. The microbiology in the soil is truly the magic of growing. If you have a heavy clay soil, then a mulch of wood chips will help to feed the microbiology in the soil, as well as hold moisture and help reduce weed seeds from sprouting. If you have a sandy soil, then a mulch of wood chips will also feed the microbiology in the soil, which helps keep the nutrients from leaching out and will help hold water as well. And if you have a soil somewhere in between sandy and clay, it's still the same. Add wood chips. Wood chips are one great way to add food for the microbiology in the soil. If you have an area that you want to grow an herb garden in, but it is really degraded soil or it's covered in weeds, or you want to replace grass, then see my sheet mulching video on how to create new growing areas. Step three, choosing and planting herbs. Select herbs that suit your taste and culinary preferences. I chose fennel because I love to cook with fennel and I use fennel in teas. And then when the fennel goes to seed, the pollinators love it. So it's bringing pollinators into my yard as well. And then I use the seed for teas. I chose chives because they are a great garnish for almost any dish. They can be harvested by cutting them off at any desired length and it will grow back fairly fast. It's a hardy plant that can be heavily harvested. I chose anise hyssop for its culinary seed for use in recipes. Anise hyssop is also another great pollinator attractor. Oregano is always a great hardy plant to use fresh in recipes when you're cooking or it's great to use dried as well. It's a perennial plant that will continue to get bigger each year. Rosemary has lots of uses, culinary as well as medicinal, and even in homemade soaps. In climates, it might not winter over, so it would need to be planted each year. Nasturtium is a flower that is also edible, used in salads and desserts. It also will not winter over and will need to be replanted each year. The nasturtium flowers add a beautiful touch to your herb garden. The seeds of nasturtium are also edible and add a peppery flavor to dishes. Thyme will continue to grow each year and will continue to get bigger. Thyme is also great in recipes and homemade soaps. Winter savory is another perennial herb that will produce many great harvests for all kinds of recipes. Some other popular choices that we could have used in this herb garden include basil, curry, and lavender. Carefully transplant seedlings or sow seeds according to recommended space and depth. I like to give herbs some room to grow, spacing about one to two feet apart. I planted the fennel in the back since it will grow the tallest, with the anise hyssop in front of that, which grows slightly shorter, and with the oregano in the very front being the lowest plant. That way, from the front, I can see all the herbs that I have. Step 4. Watering and Maintenance Proper watering is crucial for the success of your herb garden. Keep the soil moist, but avoid overwatering. One great way to do that is to have a layer of wood chips on the soil. It helps regulate too much water or too little rain. When the soil is healthy and full of microbial life, it can hold water in the dry times and it can also hold vast amounts of water without drowning the plants in wet times. Regularly monitor the plants for signs of pests or disease. The healthier the soil, the less disease and pests you will have. Disease and pests are mother nature's way of getting rid of unhealthy plants. Unhealthy soils create unhealthy plants. If your soils are full of life, then they will grow healthy plants. Step five, harvesting and utilizing herbs. Once your herbs have grown, it's time to reap the rewards. Harvest the leaves or sprigs as needed, making sure not to damage the main plant. Explore various culinary uses for your fresh herbs, such as seasoning dishes, infusing oils, making herbal teas, or making homemade soap. By giving your herb garden proper care and attention, you'll have a constant supply of aromatic and flavorful herbs to enhance your cooking and bring nature's goodness into your home. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey of herb gardening. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more gardening tips, tricks, and inspiration. Happy planting.